Been a long time. Yes, ma'am. A lot of water under the bridge. Some of the old songs, sir. Yes, ma'am. Silverstein portrays happiness as being when we give and have the capacity to give. Whenever the boy leaves the tree, the tree becomes sad, not out of want for the boy, but out of want to give to the boy. the story when the boy is an old man. All he wants is a quiet place to sit and rest. All the things that he had tried to make him happy were now gone. Left behind was the stump of a tree. In contrast, the tree, who no longer had anything to give, was happy even to the end because it was able to give everything it had to comfort the boy. The boy never really understood the love of the tree, and the tree became nothing more than what it could be to the boy. about what can happen in love between two people. Whether it be friends, family, lovers, when a relationship turns from love, mutually giving and receiving in a respectful, caring manner, to dysfunctional, abusive, selfish, disregarding, and destructive behaviors, one party always suffers. In the case of the giving tree, the tree gives so much to the young boy that there is nothing of itself left. I saw the mistakes of the tree, not in loving the boy, but in giving all that it was to a boy that didn't care for it. Could the tree ever do better? Maybe not. Maybe that's just how it had to be. became a seat for the boy, who had finally realized that all he had felt he needed his whole life, he didn't actually need it all. He just needed a place to sit. a parabola about the beauty of generosity and the power of giving to forge connection between two people. This book does an excellent job in displaying the truth in writing. Although there have been many different readings, one that the book is designed to be happy, the other that it's not, I don't believe the goal here was to represent the apotheosis of giving so much as the complexity of human connection. The tree and the boy are just like the rest of us. They cannot find satisfaction. They are trapped in a codependent relationship in which the boy is the narcissistic taker and the tree the compulsive enabler. I believe 
believe the message of the book is less and less an endorsement of giving and more about the way love and tragedy are irrevocably intertwined. And how our giving to others inevitably detracts from how much we can give to ourselves. <laughs>